Hi there, this is Mayan Shah, and this is quite unusual because I am now behind the camera. We will have a full in-depth tour that will uh, be posted soon. But for now, this is going to be a quick walkthrough of this coach. And I'm gonna try my best to point out important facets that will help you decide if you wanna purchase this coach, or at the very least, entertain the idea. And let me tell you, this is about the best price Newell that you will find on the market right now. It's a gorgeous bus, it's not perfect, it has a couple flaws. If you're expecting perfection, I think Newell can and will build you a brand new beautiful bus for around two uh, to two million and change or something like that. But this coach was well maintained, well looked after, loved, but like I said, not perfect. Let's walk through it today. So right off the bat, you probably noticed that this is a 2020p model. This coach could easily pass as a 17 model. It has some gorgeous chrome wheels. You know, Newell, there are accent lights here in between the drive axle and tag axle, and the tag axle is steerable. Let me tell you, it's quite terrific. The coach is extremely maneuverable when you compare it to something like a Prevo bus. And it's one of those features that stands out as one of the crown jewels of the coach. Now the bus is packed with technology. And again, this is a short video. It's kind of painful for me to not get into all the nerd details, but I'm going to avoid that as best we can today. This window right here in the bedroom, the bottom portion of it is foggy. It's not horrible, but you know, you'll notice it. You can possibly see it just slightly from out here. You'll see it from the inside. As you can see, there are gorgeous LED accent lights that surround the windows. And those flush windows go perfectly with the coach. The, the bus was actually cut and polished and it does have an excellent glaze. The glass blends in with the paint and the paint job is absolutely magnificent. So up front, we have new tires. They were installed about two, three months ago. The drive axle and tag tires are about three to three and a half years old. They were installed sometime in 2018. The face of the coach, while not perfect, and when you walk up close, you know, you might be able to notice a little small rock chip like that. Howdy. I look funny in that mirror, in that reflection. There are a couple little small imperfections, nothing too major. The 3M film was removed from the face, so we don't have that as an issue now. You could put the 3M film back on it if you wanted to. It just got washed. I think you see some water coming down in that grill there. And while it's not perfect, it is quite beautiful. And the 2020P model is just a, a stunning coach. Just when they did that, those crazy headlights and those running lights are absolutely stunning. The coach lights up. Now, right here, we do have a slight foggy window. And this coach does have full length Girard awnings on both sides. So a lot of times you'll see Prevo buses, they will have smaller Girards on the passenger side of the bus, not this coach. It has full size Girards. It looks like an Eagle. It's quite incredible. I apologize for not having a gimbal today, but it's okay. This is a simple video that I'm just recording with this phone to give you an idea of what this coach looks like in person. And given my dad likes to do his own version of this, I figured why not use this gorgeous new coach to show him up. So as you can see, they work great. And ah, voila, the other side has two full length Girards. It's quite a look when you pull up to a campground and you've got full length Girards on both sides of the coach. Which side do you have the party on? Maybe you just have a party that completely surrounds the bus. That's probably the best option. But that's, uh, that's a head turner right there, I think. I would think that'd probably be safe to say. Okay, I'm gonna press a button that's going to put out all of the small electric window awnings, which by the way, also work just as they should. 
It's probably more interesting to watch the other side where there's like a billion of them. Oh, they're already out. They're quick. Oh, it's about the same amount. I don't know why I thought there were so many on this side. But uh, to be honest, that is, that is a good bit. Newell does make it like normal to have just a ton of electric awnings everywhere. So yeah, they work great and they look amazing. It's hard, hard choice. What do you use? Window awnings? Yeah, probably when it's more windy. When it's less windy, get the big boy Gerards out. Why not? They're amazing. And then it'll really look like a spaceship just landed from Mars or something like that. It's a super bus. Let me tell you, this is an opportunity to get one heck of a coach for the money. All right, so quick rundown on the exterior compartments. We've got six 8D series, brand new Lifeline AGM batteries. Now to the right of this bay, we have our pass-through storage compartment, one of three. This can come out on either side. You have a slide tray right there, and there is lighting. I don't have it on, unfortunately, but uh, press a button and turn it on. But there are remote controls to operate these slide trays in addition to hardwired buttons, which is a good idea. We have an LG outdoor TV here on a hinge so it can open up and angle in different ways. Back behind there, we have a AquaHot 675D. You've got dump buttons, you've got light controls, you've got a direct fill to the water tank. Now over here, we have an outdoor freezer slash refrigerator, emergency release for the entrance door. These are on gorgeously finished slide trays, again, with buttons and remotes to operate them. And these slide trays can come out on both sides of the coach. Now towards the back on the passenger side of the coach, back in those bays, which we will cover more in depth in the main video, you have an air hose, a built-in air compressor, a built-in auxiliary battery charger for the chassis batteries, just in case, as well as new chassis 8D series batteries. And this does have the 600 horsepower ISX Cummins that's producing nearly 2,000 foot-pound of torque. And of course, the Allison 4000. This is an incredible engine, sounds like a turbojet, and will propel you up hills, up the steepest hills, at about 10 to 12 miles an hour faster than a Prevo bus. So don't let that go to your head if you purchase this coach. This side of bays is absolutely gorgeous, just like the other side. We've got our pass-through storage bays there, remote controls, buttons to operate them. Our wet bay here, instead of a ugly, regular plastic manifold, we have these gorgeous cutoffs. They're all solid metal. They feel amazing. Dump valves, this beautiful stainless faucet here. So this is a headhunter coach. If you open this up, we've got a headhunter a Mach 5 pump, an auxiliary pump up there, huge tanks. There is a heat exchanger right there, you see that? That is a heat exchanger from the Aqua Hot. So you can set temperature down here and keep it warm. If you go somewhere super cold, it's very, 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 very prepared for that, let me tell you. Electrical bay here, emergency release for the step if you need to get it in an emergency situation. That tray slides in and out right there. And in the back of that compartment, we have our two outback inverters. We've got fuses, we've got relays, the valid slide system command control is on the left there. Here we've got our other side of that one pass through storage compartment, our fuel tank, our def fluid tank, and you can open up that compartment there to get to your radiator for easy access to keep it clean. And that front bay right there, there are two little bays on the front of the coach that you can open up. The generator is up in the front, of course. And the fuses in here, compressors for the auxiliary compressor system and the auxiliary air system, which works fantastic, works as it should. Holds pressure on the seals, holds pressure for the pocket doors. Those all work as they should. This is an interior that's full of not only exquisite materials, but absolutely elegant and fantastic styling. 
The furniture is all made by Villa. This J couch right here is roughly 10 feet, four inches long. And this portion on the end will actually jackknife. Now these countertops that sort of accent and improve the interior become prominent when the slides are extended and fold away to save space when the slides retract. Now the front chairs are in excellent condition. No crazy wear or anything like that, but um, admittedly this arm is a little loose. It just kind of sags it a touch, but the material itself is in top notch condition. This chair right here will vibrate and um, sort of massage you, if you will, it'll vibrate. But Newell's monocoque chassis, stable ride, and ZF active suspension combined with that tag steer really make this coach a pleasure to drive and one of the least fatiguing driving experiences you'll find. The brakes are extremely sensitive. It's easy, easy to come to a secure and smooth stop and controlling that 600 feels butter smooth. The coach actively hides weight and it hides weight quite well. If you check out the full length video that is coming out soon, you will see me actually test drive the coach and give you much more in-depth feedback on it. Now the windows are massive in the bus. There's electric shades everywhere. This couch right here is about six feet, eight inches long. And underneath there is an Air Dream automatically inflating and deflating queen size air mattress. And what's cool is these end pieces actually come off to give you that true six feet, eight inch length if you just wanna leave the couch as it is. And it's quite comfortable. Let me tell you, I, I grew up camping on Villa Furniture and uh, later when we had our Eagles and they are quite comfortable furniture. They're quite comfortable furniture and they last a long time. They're well built. Now there are accent lights everywhere. There are all kinds of details I'm skimping over on this interior. And again, it pains me to do so, but I'm gonna have to move on for the sake of what this video is for. Now the counter is huge in the kitchen. It's in immaculate condition. The backsplash is in excellent condition as well. We've got this huge window that just gives you this incredible view out of the coach. Very unique and new with these massive windows. Thermostat hidden behind that panel right there. We have the iPad to control the Creston system. This styled stainless steel sink just uh, looks simple, elegant. This is a touch sensitive faucet, so you just tap it to come on. There's a built-in and sink rater as well. Trash compactor was taken out and thoughtfully replaced with a wine cooler. Stainless steel looks great, has this blue backlighting in there, and it's just a nice touch. All of this cabinetry is not only stunning and accented very well by stainless steel and these beautiful trim materials like this material right there, they're very practical too. So if you slide any of these drawers out, you'll see huge amounts of storage. And the lock mechanisms are very satisfying, let me tell you. Dishwasher is hidden right here. We've got a Kenyan dual stove top and the countertop space is truly massive. There's a hidden pantry up in the corner. We've got a stealthy hidden sub-zero refrigerator here with two freezer drawers on the bottom. This thing is huge. Toilet room right here, tiled walls, leather on the ceiling, exhaust fan, electric shade, designer vanity lights that look gorgeous. And what more could you ask? This is an absolutely stunning bathroom, if I've ever seen one. Look at the leather, look at the, look at the, look at that, look at the wall. It's just, I, I don't have any words. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful bathroom space. There's storage too, lots of storage. So still very practical while being absolutely stunning and elegant. Now back here we have our bedroom space and there is a air pocket door here. So door closed, the accessory compressor works perfectly. Hi there. Don't you love my mismatched socks? Very fitting on a coach of this caliber door close and you can also oh I hit I already hit door close one you can also lock this door and when you look at that pocket door it really reminds you how tall these Newell coaches are they're they're very tall interiors and the bedroom space my gosh it's uh it's a gem it's just a stunning interior 
that brand new floor looks just perfect in the coach. It accents the wood nicely. It doesn't clash. I think it would be too much wood if we kind of copied that. Now back in here, you know, huge amounts. You've got a bunch of extra pillows and things, and but huge amounts of cedar lined wardrobe space. There's many drawers down there. This, believe it or not, is all shelf space as well. Hidden shelf space. What do we have here? Oh my gosh, another, another cedar lined wardrobe. Safe, of course. There's more storage down here. Storage, storage, storage. Televator, televator. And while that lifts up for us, because in a new coach, televators are elementary. I want to show you yet another wardrobe space. <laughs> wardrobe space on top of wardrobe space and all of it is cedar lined and guess what even though you've seen three cedar lined wardrobe spaces the best is yet to come beautiful drawers down there of course this bed actually folds up a little bit so gives you much more space in the bedroom when the slides are closed and you know admittedly newels are not the most spacious when the slides are closed, but it does help and they try to do their best with uh, how crazy they get as far as interior space with the slides open. Now check this master bath out. First of all, we have this incredible bathtub. Tile walls, of course, you can use it as a regular shower if you'd like, but you can also easily open it up and just enjoy the massive and incredible windows that you get in this bedroom space. It is a little bit of a step to get in. I'm, I'm you know, that is a reality. So if you absolutely wanted to, you could change this out. This is a, a huge space. I mean, you can do a lot with this space. You could do um, one heck of a shower. You could heck even put in a, a smaller shower and put a toilet over there or, or do something, you know, something else. You can always change it up. Um, but the bathtub concept itself that is a, uh, I think it's a pretty sweet concept. There's a fan up there, exhaust fan. There's dimmable lights, you know, every single, most all of the lights in this coach are dimmable. There's a couple of them, the accent ones that aren't, but you know, those designer sconce lights, the LEDs up there, the accent LEDs, most accent LEDs are all dimmable. Now this is a cool piece, right? Look at this countertop. This is such a cool countertop. Classic Newell styling. Oh, and there's one light that's not on. Oh my gosh, that's... There we go. Okay, so classic Newell pillars, and then just an absolute wow countertop. I mean, that, there is, there's no words for it. I mean, it speaks for itself, really. That's, um, that's incredible. Looks like it's, it's on, it looks like it's, I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. It looks incredible. <laughs> Remember when I said save the best for last as far as wardrobe space? Okay, yeah, cedar line wardrobe. And then guess what? Cedar lined wardrobe with mini shelves that are cedar lined. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. It's, um, it's actually, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Storage space up in here. Uh, pretty deep too. Now we have our, I believe this is our washer. Yes, our washer is down here, Bosch, and huge storage space. Um, there is a heat exchanger dedicated for the space back here from the Aquaha. There are drawers in here. There is an ironing board that comes out and actually is a makeshift ironing board right there, all on its own. You just uh, come and fold this open. So storage space down there, dryer is located right here. Just a, a unique and beautiful space in here, I have to say. It just, every time I'm in this interior, I feel uplifted. I feel more enthusiastic about things. It's just a, it's a positive energy interior. You know, there's warm colors, natural warm colors. There's just huge open natural light inlets. There's, it's, this is an amazing interior. I could speak for days on end and we are gonna do a lot more later, but you know, cockpit wise, couple of cool things. There's a silver leaf digital display. There are tire pressure sensors. We've got backup camera, total vision camera. You can spin around. Beautiful lighting at night. This cockpit is stunning. It's all leather wrapped. It's gorgeous, okay? Air leveling, uh, valid. Yeah, lots of great features, dual exhaust brake. 
All these buttons, by the way, they're not just like regular buttons. They look like it, but listen to that. I don't, I, I don't know if you can hear it, but every, all the switching in this coach, especially up in the cockpit, feels metallic, and it feels like they took out the guts and just put the most high quality metallic guts in these switches ever. They're all really satisfying to operate. Like the generator start, stop. You got an entry door so you can push uh, open the entry door from here. It's, um, yeah, really cool bus. And this is a heck of an opportunity and a heck of a price to get into a bus like this. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in this bus, here's my phone number. Feel free to call or text me here and I will gladly answer any question you throw at me. This coach won't last long at this price and it was well loved as well as well taken care of and is going to make someone a great bus. Look out for the full length video coming soon.